It's it's so. <laughs> You're gonna start every hair a studio. Laugh. Yes. Yeah. Just Hi everyone. Everybody with a giggle this morning. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Which is the best. The best. We want to wish. Okay, so today is my sister's birthday. She's turning 29. We like to say happy 29th birthday. And uh, uh, Jilly, uh, she's so funny. She's like, happy, happy fifth birthday, mom. Happy. So, yeah, we just want, I hope she has a beautiful and wonderful day. She might pop on. I don't know. She said she might, but she's probably going back. To, so, and and I'll I'll share, <laughs> I'll share her other intention. Uh, from Sandra, she's asked for her prayers for her friend Claudia's surgery, who is today, um, for it to be a complete success. And for all those, yes, amen. Um, for her surgeon and for all her caretakers, and um, I just hope it's hope it goes very very peacefully. And then um, from Jennifer, she's asked for uh, prayers for her sweet boy Liam, uh, who received his first Holy Communion yesterday. May he always stay close to Jesus all the days of his precious life. How beautiful is that? Amen. That's so beautiful. And we want to pray for you, for everyone here, all those intentions, both on our hearts, um, you know, both said and unsaid, and. Um, yeah, is there anything specific you'd like to pray for? I'd love to pray for all of the the moms, their hearts, for their children who are away from the church, who felt like they did all the things they needed to do, but yet their children still strayed. Just know that our blessed mother is praying right along with you and that she wants them back in the um, in their her son's life even more so than you do. Yes. Amen. Amen. I, I'm one of those moms. I think we there's a lot of moms here. It's a we just continue to pray for them um, and, and trust in God's plan. So Amen. <laughs> like, that's me too. Yes, we, we just love to pray for them, their journey. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll, we'll just go ahead and get started. Yes. Great. All right. <laughs> in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from whence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For our Holy Father and his intentions, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus. Give us our sins, save us from our, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. We're all going to be doing this today. I'm so sorry. I'm just distracting. We're praying. <laughs> it's, oh, beautiful. It's, it's okay. I'm like, um, <laughs> the first sorry, joy, <laughs> I love it. The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. God sent the angel Gabriel to Mary, his chosen handmaid, with an incredible message and invitation. Mary said yes, not only to the conception of the Messiah, but to also that all that God willed for her. Mary's yes perseveres to this day as she continues to allow God to work his perfect will through her for the salvation of all humanity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, Amen. my Jesus. Oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The second joyful mystery is the visitation. When Mary learned of Elizabeth's pregnancy, she went in haste to visit her, to help her and to encourage her. Mary forgot her own troubles in order to help another. The Lord in turn confirmed to Mary through Elizabeth that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Mary thus teaches us that even in the womb Jesus came not to be served, but to serve. This mystery also proves forever that life begins at conception, since in the womb the unborn John recognized his newly conceived cousin Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The third joyful mystery is the Nativity. After nine months of waiting and three days of journeying, Joseph and Mary finally found shelter. On this holy night, the Son of God came quietly into the world to reclaim it for his Father. He came as a child, so no one would refuse him. He came in poverty, so no one would feel inferior. He came defenseless, so no one would feel threatened. That night in Bethlehem, Mary and Joseph needed help. How do I respond when someone asks me for help? Am I willing to go the extra mile? Mary and Joseph allowed Jesus to come to us. God now awaits our yes to allow him to come to others. May we share his childlike love, his gracious joy, and his gentle care with all who we meet today. Remembering that were Christ to be born in a thousand stables, it would be of no avail if he were not born in our hearts. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. And the fourth joyful mystery of the presentation, in obedience to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph presented Jesus to God in the temple. Israel's long wait for the Messiah was ended. So too was the waiting of old Simeon, who blessed the child and his parents, having been promised by the Spirit that he should not die until he had seen the Lord's anointed one. He prayed, Now, Master, you, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation. Anna, a faithful widow, had also prayed and fasted much for this day, and she rejoiced in it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. And the fifth joyful mystery is finding Jesus in the temple. On the way home from the Passover feast in Jerusalem, when Jesus was 12 years old, Mary and Joseph discovered that Jesus was no longer with them. Distraught and frightened, they began looking for him everywhere. As the hours turned into days, their anxiety grew. Then after three days, they found Jesus in the temple. You can imagine their mixed feelings of relief, joy, and even anger. We too endure times of suffering when it comes, when it seems we have lost Jesus. As our anxiety grows, we cry out, where are you, Lord? This mystery teaches us that God is always in control and that in time, if we keep looking, we will find Jesus. As his word declares, at dusk, weeping comes for the night, but at dawn, there is rejoicing. Mary will lead the way. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, the eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, by your only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Elson, do you want to lead the St. Michael prayer? Sure. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebu rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell in all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Look at us, Allison. Hair and all, we did it. I know, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're perfect. I love it. Um, just for everybody else, like we have to meet in the studio beforehand, so then we can like see and we're like, woo. And um, yeah, so it's actually kind of, that's that's super fun. Um. <laughs> and I I love my crown of glory, as the scriptures say, my gray hair. But my goodness, it has a little bit of mind of its own. So <laughs> I apologize for the primping. <laughs> no, it's perfect. It's perfect. So do you do you care to share a little bit about your experience with the Rosary? I would love to because I am super blessed. I work for the ministry called Family Rosary. It was started by Father Patrick Payton, who's venerable. You did? And he's known. Did I do. And he's I didn't known. know that. <laughs> he yeah, my known. sister has a 
she loves him. Oh, that's that's amazing. Well, and happy birthday to her. I'm so honored to be here on her birthday. I know. I, I wonder I, if she knew that because she would have been like, what? Yeah, I have a feeling somebody sent me. <laughs> oh, wow. So I get to continue his work. He's known as the Rosary Priest, and I yes. get to work helping people have resources and and find ways to pray the rosary especially as well to pray together as a family especially the rosary and it has been just an amazing journey in fact i did a novena and i asked father peyton to uh, use my to ask the lord to use my gifts and talents where he thought best fitted and then i was uh, offered this job at family rosary that i didn't apply for i worked for a catholic mom and it asked for more hours and then and their sister uh, ministry to holy to uh, family rosary and this job came up and i thought just days after i finished this novena to father patrick payton so if you don't think prayer works um, i'm standing here telling you not only does it work but the person that you pray to may hand pick you yourself to work and continue his work in family rosary so I love prayer. I love the rosary. I do struggle to pray it every day. I'm not going to lie. But what I love about what you and your sister do, and we talk about your ministry, by the way, and the things that we share, because you offer people who, like me, struggle to pray the rosary every day, mm -hmm. a way of praying it with others, coming together in community, and and setting it on your, your calendar, knowing that somebody is going to be there praying, and you so many people just love what you and Kristen do. So thank you for offering us a way to pray every morning in community and, and you know, with our community of Christ. That's so funny. Thank you. What a miracle. I had no <laughs> idea. Did Caroline know? Like, I wish she was here because, um, yeah, she's been, she, uh, she just has always talked and, and, I mean, way before this has always been, um, very, very attracted or very just drawn to him for Father Payton. I, um, <laughs> if His you charism. don't know this, but she would always have him playing in the background. So if you went to her home, she always had him on. And no. like, it, yeah, like people don't know that. She always says he's the founder. He's their chair. I don't know. Maybe it's the Holy Spirit. Anyways, anyways, it's just so I I say he's the head of my saint posse. I live um, right down the street from where he is buried, and I am blessed to go and pray at his grave. We have a museum here in uh, southeastern Massachusetts. It is the Museum of Family Prayer, and I encourage anyone, if you're ever nearby, please, we have a rosary walk. We have mass and rosary every day, 1130 and noon, and we're always so excited to, to share Father Payton's ministry and to help families pray. That is a tough thing to do, especially nowadays. So I really am thrilled to be here. And I do feel that father, now that you're talking that I totally know this was father's patents doing 100% by crazy hair and all. <laughs> I had no idea. I had no idea. She, um, I think awesome. I, I prayed, was it father William? Father Willie, father Willie. Willie. Yeah. He was yes. president for many years. It's now father Fred Jenga, but, uh, his father, Willie has, has moved on to do something different for the Holy Cross Fathers, but yes, he's mm -hmm. amazing. And I do believe he came on here and prayed with you. Yeah, he day. did. And um, I'll never forget him kind of talking about Father Peyton and the, and the miracle in his that occurred for him, you know, basically how she saved him. And then he dedicated his life um, to spreading the rosary, specifically the family rosary. And then even just to hear his family and like how, how, reverent and, and such fidelity every day, you know, to every, pray every day. Every night on their knees. Yes. In their kitchen, praying mm -hmm. the rosary. I just find that so beautiful. And he says it's that example that changed the trajectory of his entire life that, you know, the first words he says, I believe in God is all he needs to know. The first words of the rosary that we pray, I believe in God. And to hear that from his father, to hear that from his mother is it, it really changed his life. And, you know, some of us, I started this day by our, our prayer time by saying, I prayed for all of those parents uh, whose hearts are aching because their children have left the faith. But if we continue to pray, if we continue to be that example I've, and to pray out loud, to sit with your spouse if you can, or um, just mm -hmm. to pray out loud, 
it, it makes a difference. They see mm -hmm. that. That's an example. And we're planting these beautiful seeds that our Blessed Mother takes into her own heart and brings mm -hmm. them to Christ. I think one of the things about the rosary that maybe we don't realize is what a beautiful, perfect prayer it is. Did you realize, and, and maybe you did because you do this every day, but if you pray the rosary every day, every day you will have blessed yourself. You've asked for an outpouring of virtue. You have professed your creed. You have prayed the prayer that Jesus himself gave us. You have asked for the intercession of Mary, the most powerful intercessor, who again, takes your prayers, perfects them and brings them to God. You attend the school of Mary when you, you think about the mysteries of the rosary. And that's just to name a few of the things that this beautiful prayer does and why your ministry is so outstanding. Truly, truly, you're doing so much that maybe you don't even realize that you're doing, but you're helping these people every day ward off the tax of the devil by just blessing themselves. <laughs> I'm a little passionate about the rosary. You, know, you don't understand what an answer to prayers you are. I was, I had to, on Friday, I had to travel for work. And, um, and, you know, unfortunately, like there was miscommunication. There was things that happened. Right. And I, I kept reflecting, like, you know, I always like, we, you know, when I get in the car, I don't know if this is an Irish thing. We just start praying the rosary. <laughs> Me too. Portuguese thing. <laughs> That's what we do. It, it doesn't matter what's going on. But anyways, I kept asking, how is the rosary so powerful? Why is there, why, you know, we have, why do we have, I have such a fidelity. Personally, I, I know, like I always am like, it, you know, and then like, well, how can that be better articulated? How can that be shared? How can people find more hope in the rosary? And then you come on and share all that. I'm like, Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so welcome. I, I actually, it came as an inspiration as one night I was going to bed and I was saying, Lord, why the rosary? You can answer me in the morning, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm like, Lord, you can answer me in the morning. I'm tired right now. But when I woke up, it was just like this aha moment. And he's like, write this down and keep telling people. This is why the Blessed Mother in all her apparitions talks about the rosary because she sees this perfect prayer that brings together all the other prayers and we do it in one simple, beautiful, you know, and 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 it's it's tangible, right? Because heaven is is this invisible God, and this gives us a tangible way of praying to God. I just I wrote a book called Encountering Signs of Faith, and in it I talked really? about teaching my daughter, who's profoundly deaf, um, the faith using tangibles, things that we could see. And the rosary was so powerful in that my friend actually crocheted little roses. And so I could use my hands, obviously, when I'm talking to her and we could still pray the rosary. But we're given these tangible ways of seeing God in our faith. And the rosary is one of the most profound. And with it comes all these prayers that we need to say every single day. So I'm thrilled that I could be an answer to your prayer because you are an answer to so many other people. Oh, praise God. It, it is such a miracle. We are, are the greatest intercessor, like in, in the Holy Spirit, we just continually, you know, um, just give praise and thanks. And, um, yeah. and I, I love that tangible way, because a lot of times, um, for those who are like in a really dark place or an anxious you know, th throughout all of our, our journeys in life, and, and there can be some rough, dark times. And my, my, I always say, you, you know, maybe just pray the rosary. And I just say that off the cuff. And, um, and I find that is something, like you said, tangible. I feel like it is the quickest method to having the whole court of heaven behind you, you know, intercessing for you, like, and and we can all speak of the millions of of testimonies and witnesses to to that. Um, like you can say that with a hundred percent confidence that you know you will be carried. That that um, Mary Mary will guide you. She will grab your hand and she will never ever let go. <laughs> oh my goodness! I often call the rosary holding Mary's hand. And I'm going to just give a little visual that it's also if you can't pray. Do you ever have days where just prayer isn't happening? This this rosary, especially if they're blessed, is filled with rosary, uh, with, with blessings and graces. And I, it's the most indulged devotion we have in the church, by the way. I didn't and know that. 
It is. It's the most indulged devotion. And Father Peyton called it the chain to heaven. And if you think about it, you know, like here's my visual of like, here I am on earth and here it's going up to Mary in heaven. Yes. And sometimes all I can do is hold the crucifix, which to me is holding Mary's hand. And I let her do all the praying. <laughs> Just hold on to it for dear life. <laughs> but that's right. That sometimes it's all you can do. Amen. You know, like with that turn of, you know, like, yeah, that's, that's, um, and I think all of us um, can, can relate to that and understand that. That's one of the, the graces that we had never expected was to hear that testimony of just truth and vulnerability um, in those times and knowing you're, you're never alone. It's just okay. so beautiful. So how did you get into writing? How did you, I didn't even encountering signs of faith, like, how, did did you always know you wanted to be a writer? Did always, yeah. I went to college um, to to get a degree in English, and I thought I'd write the next American great novel. But apparently, of I'm course. Really not good at fiction at all. <laughs> I'm just terrible at it. I have no imagination whatsoever. Um, and so, about 15 years ago, I came back to the faith. I'm a revert, okay. and I fell so in love with Christ that I wanted the whole world to know it. So I went out looking for books that included scripture prayer and the sacraments. I call it the grace trifecta. And I yes. couldn't find at that time many years ago. So I ended up actually also writing the state connected journals for Catholic women through our Sunday visitor. And it, it brings all of those elements together. So that's kind of how I started. I went to adoration. I whined to God that we needed this. And he said, because this is what I do. I bring God problems and I expect him to just fix them. And then every and once does. in a while he decides it's me who's going to fix it. I'm like, no, no, God, that's not how this works. This is your problem. I'm just bringing it to your attention in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> and so that's how I started to write. Uh, he's like, I gave you this gift and talent. And I found that I'm actually really, really good at writing nonfiction of taking the faith and putting it into words that are relatable, that are stories, that are bite size, and um, kind of just bringing the faith to people, women specifically, the way I discovered it and how I fell in love with Christ and, and just want the whole world to know that he loves them. He is their, they are his beloved. And that through prayer, prayer sacrament and scripture, we are given this perfect way of, of encountering Christ through his grace. So that's yes. kind of what happened. That is so beautiful. What, what caused your reversion? Um, just trying everything else in the world, just being absolutely <laughs> miserable and all the shoes in the world were buying me happiness. And I totally thought that would work. Like, I don't understand how it could. I have, right. It, it seems like a foolproof <laughs> method <laughs> of finding happiness. I'm just going to buy shoes and mm -hmm. it didn't work and food didn't work and drinking didn't work and, uh, partying didn't work. Nothing was working. And so my husband and I, we got married very young, 21 and 23. And I just looked at him one day and said, let's try God. We've tried everything else. And I started going back to church and started to feel this peace. I started to pray every day, started to mm -hmm. pick up my rosaries again. And that kind of, it was baby steps, but that's what brought me back was nothing else in this world was bringing me happiness. And that foundation that had been laid in my childhood I was like, hey, wait, they promised me that God somehow give me peace that not this world could not give. Let me check that out. And yes. it was true. <laughs> yes. Isn't that true? Uh, it, um, Cause you know, in our, in, you know, just throughout life and in those hard times of kind of being away, it is incredible the peace that um, then permeates. It's not like everything changes in your life, but somehow you're so much stronger. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I say that the answer to every prayer I've ever prayed is peace. It hasn't been the new car I've needed. Oh, it, hasn't, it hasn't been, you know, my children tomorrow loving Jesus. It's been the peace that God is there, that God hears me, that he wants these things even more than I do. Like he knows I need, you know, the, the transportation to get back to work. He knows that I want my best friend to be healthy and to recover from cancer. He knows all these things, but he also knows what sanctifies us. 
His mm -hmm. ultimate goal for all of us is our good, is to be with him in heaven forever. And he knows that path. He alone knows that path. And even though we may be like, but I'm thinking, Lord, if you just made everything good and roses, like I will be so holy. And he's like, no, you won't. <laughs> like, that's not how this goes pretty well. <laughs> So the pr the prayer, the answer to every prayer I've ever prayed has been peace. My thorn stays, like St. Paul talks about, because that thorn is what keeps us connected to Christ. And, and Paul teaches us that. Like he asked three times and then he realized, oh, you keep this problem here, this, this difficulty, because without it, I would be all that in the bag of chips and I wouldn't come to you, Christ. And so he, God knows you need these, these trials, not because they oppress us, but because mm -hmm. they keep us connected to the source that we need to end up in heaven one day. I love that. I love that so much. Thank you. That is so You're beautiful. So <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. And I think um, that is just such a fantastic, it's, I don't know, that, that phrase is such a fantastic inspiration. It just oh, it helps so many, so thank you. Did, what are you working on now? Are you working on uh, writing or anything in particular? I am um, just kind of sharing the Encountering Signs of Faith book right now. I have some other projects I can't talk about yet, but oh. God willing. <laughs> that's okay. They're just kind of still in formulation form. Trust me, yeah. I would share them if I could. Um, but they're still kind of formulated. I ask for prayers as God, you know, shows me what to do to do next. And I'm just loving working at Family Rosary, familyrosary.org. We have lots of resources. I love curating content for that website, giving people encouragement in their in prayer, especially family prayer and the rosary. So that's, it keeps me very busy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Know, blessing. Absolutely. That's just so incredible. I like, I, I can't wait to share this with everyone. <laughs> um, she, she must have fallen back asleep. Sammy was up at like 445, I think, and she texted me and I bet she fell back asleep, but she will be so excited to watch this. And I saw people saying we should all go meet there. And I was like, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Let's talk about that because I think the museum would love to have you all come. So we'll talk about that, Jill. We'll yeah. definitely have a, we'll keep praying. And if the Blessed Absolutely. Mother wants to bring us together, but I have a feeling somebody's already hard. I have them staring at me all day while I work to make sure I stay on task. I now know it's a, yes. I think that's so perfect. That's so perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Allison, this is such a blessing. It's so great. I mean, what a what a miracle. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting me. Yes. No, oh, this is wonderful. Perfect timing. So thank you. Thank you. I hope you have a fantastic Monday. Beautiful, joyful, blessed day. So you too. And happy birthday again to Kristen. Yes. Happy birthday, Chris. We're well, she's we'll be talking. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, everybody. God bless.